Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones, I'm back with a new video. Kyle Rittenhouse is found innocent. <laughs> man, no oh man, I get to, I gotta tell you, I lost my shit <laughs> when they read that. Um, I think it was twelve minutes. I think twelve minutes have passed. Um, when the live feed, um, when the live feed is shown, you know they they, they read the verdict. As I walked my dog, I came back in the house. And I, I saw you know I saw it was announced, and. I was I laughed, I was laughing, and then I saw the video of I saw the you know, the video of they, he was you know Kyle was standing up and they were reading the charges, and you know he's going through all five charges, and I was like and he then he collapsed after they read the last one and said he was you know with, with one involving um uh, Gage Grosskreutz, and he you know found not guilty and he collapsed and I was like oh I got I said you know what. I'm, I'm happy for him. I'm happy for the kid. You know, um, well, he's a man now. He's he's, you know, he's 18, but I, I gotta say, you know, he's still he's still got a, he's got a, he's got a bit of, uh, he's got a bit of, a, a bit long way to go because you know he's um, so he, it turns out he's going through some he has PTSD from what happened, which is I which I understand. You know, his lawyer talked about you know he's going to therapy. You know, he um, he can't sleep at night, and I really do hope that you know hope Kyle gets the help that he needs. Um, you know, I, I thank the Lord that, you know, he got it, that, you know, he got it, he was found to be innocent. I mean, this whole thing, there was so much evidence, so much evidence, so much video evidence that clearly shows that he was acting in self-defense. So this, this should have never gone to trial, but part of me is actually happy this went to trial because this caused so much, this caused so much to come to the surface in terms of the law, in terms of the, well, first of all, the corruption of the of the Kenosha DA of of a, a district attorney, um, his name is Binger. You know, uh, you know, being found out, you know, fa f being found out to have been trying to change a witness's testimony. Then all, and then, you know, um, pin, you know, and then it was a matter of so the fourth guy, because when they read that they read one of the charges saying the unknown man, the turn of the some of the fourth guys, I think it was more Maurice Freeman. He was a he's like forty year old uh, Kenosha resident. He has a long he has a long criminal record. Who's been getting he's been getting probation uh, like crazy, and, and he's like, his his criminal record goes goes over spans over a decade. You know, just much like forgery, carjacking, just domestic assault, like all this nonsense. And it turns out his name only his name only comes up after. After jur after the jurors go you know are, are convened after the jurors go to you know to deliberate, his name comes up, and it turns out that he actually contacted the DA and said he he can test he he can testify, but he had but he wanted to, but he wanted to get immunity for I think it was a DUI charge, and it was den and it was denied. So the pro and, you know so the prosecutor did not want to put up put another witness on the stand who had a criminal record. So this shows how it just shows how corrupt you know how corrupt the prosecution was in this case. Then it was also a matter of the the the, the 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 HD footage that was that was kept from the defense, of the of the of the drone footage, uh, the FBI um, apparently had some footage that was that was lost, I guess. But but I think it, it finally came out, it, it was resurfaced. You know, people someone someone found the infinite someone found the video. Uh, what else? You know, also the also someone took a picture of the of the district attorney Binger. Turns out that he was a he was a uh, he was a member he's a BLM BLM sympathizer because he had a pin on his lapel, <laughs> it was his his little piece of flair. He had a pin on his lapel that was said Black Lives Matter, you know, and, and so like so, so it showed that he was biased from the start. Um, but, it's, but I was but it's so cool to see that you know when you put Gage Grosskreutz up on the stand, he basically shot a giant hole in his whole argument, and that Kyle didn't Kyle didn't point the rifle at him. Until he pointed his own pistol at him, so so there you go. So that came to the surface. Uh, what else came to the surface? The massive amount of lies that were told by the media about who Kyle about who Kyle was or who who Kyle is, and you know, and even though the facts came out, they still kept they still kept saying the same thing. You know, he he crossed state he crossed state lines what, twenty minutes outside of where he lives from Antioch, Illinois. Uh, what uh, he brought a rifle across state lines? That was a lie. It was in Kenosha the whole time. Uh, his mother dropped him off. That was a lie. He drove. He drove there the day before. 
His, he had no business in Kenosha. That was a lie. His dad lives in Kenosha. His friend uh, Dominic Black lives in Kenosha. The rifle was in Kenosha. I think his grandparents live in Kenosha. He works in Kenosha. So yeah, he has every he has every reason to be there. First of all, first of all, he's an American. He could be wherever he, he, could, he could be, but he could be just about anywhere he wants. And he wasn't there causing a causing a riot. And it's funny that they keep saying that he had no he had no right to be there. What about the rioters? What about the ones who drove him out of state to come to that city? You know. He shouldn't have been out there with a gun. Well, what about Gage Grosskreutz? He had a pistol, you know, and he traveled. And he was from Milwaukee, which apparently is, um, which apparently is like I think two hour drive from Kenosha compared to Kyle's twenty like twenty minute drive from Antioch. Uh, there was so you know, he he chased he was he chased down um Rosenbaum, which is, which is a lie. Rosenbaum Rosenbaum chased him down after he was part of after he had put out after he put out several fires set by people like him. And him and, and him included. In fact, the, the dumpster that was being pushed toward the trash can, uh, there was it was a there was a short blurb I seen in the video where he, where Kyle was running, he had a fire extinguisher in his hand. I believe he handed it off to someone else, and they put the fire out. But it also turns out that Kyle was putting out other, several other fires. There was a building, um, or there was a lady who got on the stand. She testified that there was a building that they were staying at. There was a church, and they tried to set one of the they tried, they tried to set one of the uh, plywood. Uh, coverings on fire. This was covering the window, and he helped put it out. So it's like all this, you know, it's like all this stuff. What what else? What else was what else were they lying about? Uh, he bought the you know, he got the rifle illegally, or he was in legal possession of it, which was not true. In fact, that case, in fact that charge even got dismissed because um, of the I guess the prosecution didn't make um, didn't make, didn't didn't make that charge in good faith. I hope, I hope I got that correct, but I remember the judge said, "Well, is, is how lo how long is the how long is the barrel? Is it over sixteen inches?" Because they said if he had a sh if he had a short barrel rifle, then a, then then they, they didn't make a case against it. But he had a standard he had a standard length rifle. There was no case, you know, there was no case to be made about him having it. What else? What else? What else? What else? It was like it was a ton of stuff. He's a white supremacist. Lie. He's not white. He's if he's a white supremacist, he's a most he was the ter most terrible white supremacist I ever seen because he only shot. Two, he shot three white guys. You know, and it's like you know, and he could have shot a he could have shot a fourth guy who which who was black, talking about uh, Maurice Freeman, uh, Friedman, but I guess but, but he but he missed. You know, so in turn, so I guess if that if that counts for anything, he's a he's a, he's the worst white supremacist that you say has ever existed. <laughs> um, you know, he was there looking for a fight. Wrong. He was there to help people. You know, and, and, and another thing that drove me up the wall when people say he had no he had, he had no right to be there, he should have been there because he's seventeen years old. Well, where were the other? Where were the adults? Where were the adults that should have been there guarding their own business? Like for like for example, the owners of the car lot that that him and the group that him and the, uh, Kyle and the, uh, other guys were actually they actually were protecting because apparently the owners said that they didn't ask for Kyle or anybody to protect their car lot when it was actually text messages being exchanged. About about the car lot, and on top of that, there was a picture of one of the owners with the group, and there's a picture of Kyle and Dominic in that picture. So it seemed like he may, have, so it seemed like they may have been just trying to cover their ass, keep from the keep from um, the keep from, you know, being held liable for uh, for an armed group guarding their property. Um, now that he was now, the one thing I will say Kyle did, Kyle did lie about was being an EMT. He's not he, he's not an EMT, but so is. So was uh, Gross Fruits. He was lying too, because he was, apparently he was a par. He said he was claiming he's a paramedic, which is not true. But if anything, Kyle would Kyle would be more of an EMT than anything else if he's out there offering to rent, offering first aid. You know, because that's the reason why he went out there. He went out there um, because, according to him, he went out there because he saw the night before where a man who owned a, who had a family who had a family owned mattress business, and he got torched. And while he was trying to put the fire out to save his business, someone hit him had a rock. You know, and like I said that pushed, that pissed me off too. So if that was a motivation that Kyle had to be to go out there to try to offer first aid to anybody, I say he had he had a good reason to be out there. He had a good heart, and he had a good head on his shoulders to to take a rifle because, I mean, because the the, I mean, the prosecutor was saying, you know, why you know, basically questioning why he brought a rifle, the, why why'd you why you bring the rifle to defend yourself? It's a riot. There's, 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 there's arson going on. There's looting going on, and it's not, it's not a stretch of the imagination to believe that if you're going out there to try to act in opposition to what everyone else is doing, you're gonna get, you're gonna get targeted, and people are gonna try to hurt you, and people are gonna try to kill you, which is what exactly, which is exactly what happened that night, that night last year. 
so there was there was so there was so many things, so many lies that was pushed by the media that basically showed them that show that truly has shown them to be the enemy of the people. Because they kept because instead of reporting the news, they kept they kept they kept basically giving their opinion and not reporting facts. But I'm I'm happy for him, you know. I at the I'm not sure, I think he has uh, I think this is still the case of uh, I think inclu- inclu- um, involving his friend Dominic Black and I guess a straw purchase, which I I think that's I think that's I still think that's bogus. I think straw purchase. I think the idea behind a straw purchase is, is bullshit in itself. But we'll guess we have to wait and see where you know where that goes. But as far as but as far as we're concerned, Kyle's a free man. You know, uh, and another thing, and one thing, and, you know, going back to the media, I hope he sues all those all those entities, including the press. Well, <laughs> oh, I had to catch myself there, including Vice President Joe Biden, who called them white supremacists uh, during the campaign trail. You know, uh, yeah, you know all, and then it was and then it was also the, the voter. There was also the jury, the jury tampering, the jury tampering that went on. Someone got caught. Someone got caught trying to videotape the jury. They were they were they were stopped by a bailiff and told to delete the video. And someone got caught. And, and someone got caught uh, following the jury the jury bus. Back to another location, they got caught because they ran a red light. You know, and and, and it's, it turns out they were actually trying to get you know they say claim they were trying to they trying to figure out who the jurors were and try to get their license plates so they can later interview them. But that sounds like a little bullshit. No, you're just no, you're trying to dox the jurors so you can intimidate them into giving a into giving a verdict that they wouldn't that they, that they otherwise wouldn't agree with. I guess, and I could be, and that could have been a reason why there were ten why there were ten people who they seemed to they wanted they they wanted to give an acquittal but there were they said there were there was rumor there was a rumor going around there were two holdouts who were in fear of of some type of retaliation if they gave if they gave a not guilty verdict but I, I, and some actually and I, remember, I read a comment um I read a comment somewhere that they actually wait until Friday to, to give a verdict so they can get their family out of town for the weekend which if that's the case and that's smart um. But it doesn't seem like there's gonna be any. Uh, doesn't seem like there's gonna be any violence um, or any you know any craziness like last year going on to, uh, going on tonight. Because um, it's pretty cold right now. It's cold in South Carolina. I can't imagine how cold. I can only imagine how cold it is right now in Wisconsin. Um, but hey, you know I'm I'm happy for him. You know I hope he, uh, like I said I hope Kyle gets the help he needs. And again, this was also this was a bit this was a huge win not just for him but it was a huge win. For self defense in general, an even bigger win for self defense with an AR 15, since the media, always has, the media has this hard on for wanting to push these points that, 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 make, that make it seem like owning, if you're, you're a monster, you're a maniac if you own an AR 15. You know, um, I don't know, I don't know, you know, I guess maybe because it's black and scary looking. Oh, one other thing all the calls about this being about white supremacy is a little horse shit. Because the same day that Kyle was acquitted, another man, uh, I think his name was Andrew Coffey IV, he got acquitted, he, a black dude got acquitted of five murder charges because there was a no-knock raid done on his, done in his place. I think his girl, and I think his girlfriend died in the, died in the process, but he shot, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he shot three SWAT team members dead. I forgot where I don't know where it, I don't know where it happened, but yeah, look look his name up. It's Andrew Coffey the fourth. He in the same day Kyle Kyle was acquitted. He was acquitted of all charges because they brought because they bust into it because they bust into his place unannounced and he thought he was under attack. And 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 that and everything shoots a giant hole in all these in all these morons who constantly say, oh, he, if if Kyle was if Kyle was a black kid, he he would be there wouldn't be a trial. He'd be gunned down. Well, how do you explain this? And better yet, how do you explain Tupac Shakur? Because if I remember correctly, he shot two cops, two white cops in Georgia, and got acquitted. Actually, I don't even think I don't even think charges. I don't even think they pressed any charges because it's it would turn it turns out he shot him in self defense. So all this talk, so all this talk about uh, race being at play is a bunch of nonsense. And the people who keep saying that are trying to drive a wedge between people between the between uh, between the American public because we don't we don't need that right now. We don't need people trying to trying to divide us. On on matter on matters that uh, matters of race is stupid, you know. Like I said, check it out. Check it. Check out his check out his name, Andrew Coffee the Fourth. He 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 got an acquittal. He was acquitted of five murder charges. Same day that Kyle was acquitted of his charges. 
But yeah, like, like I said, I'm you know, you know, shout out to both, shout out to both of them. Um, I hope that you know, I, I hope that they're able to you know move on with their life after this. I know, I know Kyle's life is gonna be, you know, and it's going back to what I was about uh, with, uh, Andrew Coffey the fourth. You know, the media's not reporting on that because it was shoot a hole in the narrative about race being a, about race being at play. It was shoot a hole in the narrative about Kyle being a white supremacist and, and the whole judicial system is is backed by white supremacy. You know, and, and, and you know, I mean, you know what? If this, if if a jury trial is white supremacy, then let's keep it. Because I can't imagine what they what they would see as being um, a suitable form of justice. You know, so you know, shout out to shout out to the two of them. I hope they can carry on their life. Kyle, I, I sense that since his I sense that since he's more high profile, um, it's gonna be maybe more difficult. But you know, hey, as long as he, I know he has people who don't like it, who hates his guts, but he has a lot of people who are in his corner, like myself. You know, I, I, su- I support Kyle Rittenhouse. Um, I, th- I, I remember, the, I remember watching that. I remember watching the footage last year and see, seeing everything and ha- seeing what, what what went on that night. And I said, yeah, this this is self defense <laughs> and a very, uh, very exceptional judicial marksmanship on his part. So, you know, I don't think he, I don't think he has to worry about. Um, I don't think he has to worry about. I don't think he has to worry for his safety. You know, a whole lot because he's shown himself to be quite capable of, of uh, protecting himself. You know, especially against especially as he's left this morons who were talking about, you know, or they you know some of who say a lot of nasty things online about him. I think I think he I think he'll be okay. You know, provide you know provided he, you know provided he you know keeps his wits about him and you know stays smart and um, you know stay in good company. I think he's I think he'll be all right. But that's my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys feel the same way I do. Maybe, maybe more, maybe less. Tell me what you think. Do you agree with the verdict? Do you disagree? Please share your thoughts. Leave a comment in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe. Any gripes, any gripes, complaints, send me a PM. I'll see if I can address them. But that's my video. Kyle Rittenhouse found not guilty. I'm Edward Jones. You guys take care. Be safe. Stay strapped. And God bless.